another video okay um it's your girl Michaela Lynn if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for clicking on my video so today is Tuesday I had supposed to start the vlog yesterday I went to work yesterday let me hold on let me let me start this over because I do want to apologize I have not been posting so like this video is like in the past but I'm just now posting it um yeah your girl been working going to school studying all of that so it's like my time is really precious right now and i'm trying to figure out how to juggle everything because at work i've been working two 12-hour shifts a week um just so that i can get off of orientation you know all of that and then i'll go to my once a week but that two times a week that check is there is there but um yeah one of my classmates passed by these folks don't know i got a youtube but it's okay whatever um <clears throat> so i was supposed to start the vlog yesterday but i didn't because i kind of forgot and i don't like to start the video midday if i already started the day off um so like yesterday if i was going to show y'all of me working i wanted to go ahead and start that that morning yesterday morning so I go to work again Thursday, so I'll just show y'all that. Um, but work's been going well. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, but yeah, I need to get some gas. That's what I need to do because I have nine miles and that's childish and that's disrespectful. Um, but yeah, so I just got a class. My OB class um, went well. Today we just talked about the labor process, like all of that fetal heart monitor, tones, like all of that. Um, and then... I'm sorry y'all that's i'm doing too much and then uh we went over our study guide for our test that's next tuesday i have a pete's test that's this friday pediatrics ain't for me but i'm loving the ob so everything is clicking for ob um also i have my first clinical of the semester y'all it's an hour and like six or nine minutes away from my house and not only that look at my friend hold on <laughs> you need to stop frowning <laughs> wait a minute why was i vlogging hold on wait a second well <laughs> why was i vlogging oh you got the <laughs> get the call and talk to my friend okay um but anyways like i was saying yesterday i went to work or whatever um i love my job y'all so much um i go again on thursday friday i have my first ease exam so that's another reason why i'm you know doing another vlog another week in the life of a nursing student and a pca mother baby pca so yeah um what else this week oh also i'm starting my first clinical yeah that's why i stopped at stopped at i start my phone is jumping hold on y'all i start my first clinical for beads this weekend y'all it's a night shift my job i've been working day shift so i don't know how night shift is about to go um but yeah so i have that saturday night and y'all already know i go to church on sunday so i'm just trying to figure out how i'm about to do all this I don't know we're gonna see um and then i have my ob test next week so yeah friday i have my piece exam and i have a dosage calc exam for me so it's a lot it's okay though it's all right um right now i'm headed to the gym i got my gym bag i might have to just change there because i ain't i don't i don't like changing at the school restaurant mm -hmm. so i'm about to head on over to the gym and then after the gym i'm gonna eat some lunch i'm already having a late lunch it's 12 42 so I'll eat some lunch once I get back home and then I'll start studying for peds and try to fill out some medications for OB. I need, well I really just focus on peds right now. Focus on peds so that tomorrow I can focus on OB and like go back and forth. Um yeah, so I'm a, I already have my study guide finished for peds. So I'm gonna just read that over and over, do some practice questions, and then also do some practice questions for my dosage cap because pediatrics uh, medication uh, math calculations it's I guess I'm not gonna say it's hard it's so tedious like you have to really understand what the question is asking you and really like 
like remember that you have to route to the hundreds place do all of that like you have to be very specific when it comes to pediatrics because they're kids they little babies so yeah but oh also today in class i'm i have a lot to talk about today in class two of my classmates they were telling us how the hospital clinical was for their rotation was this past weekend for the hospital i'm going to this saturday they said they loved it y'all the thing is it's very sad because it's a burns hospital and you see nothing but babies that was burned up like i don't know how i'm going to emotionally feel after my shift and when i'm there because one of the girls she was like she had to literally hold herself together because they first start off in like the med surge a pediatric floor then they went to the, um, the icu for the peds uh, for peds um, patients and they was like it was a lie like you have to really hold yourself together because you get very emotional and i was like all right no, i'm an emotional person and this is gonna be very hard for me <laughs> but i'm still kind of excited to see um but yeah so let me go ahead and head to the uh head to the hospital so i've been at the hospital too much now uh, let me go ahead and head to the gym and i'll catch y'all later be working out with this girl um today um she has a youtube so i'm gonna put her her stuff on the screen yeah she be making some good content i ain't gonna lie like i love the aesthetic you know type of stuff so she does that very well she on tiktok instagram and youtube yeah so i'm on my way to the gym right now for six o'clock it's 608 yeah I don't know what be going through my head. I be thinking I have enough time. I don't know. But y'all saw me get, like, have a little small get ready with me. Um, but yeah, so on today's agenda, I'm going to the gym, like I said, this morning. I'm going to come back home. I need to shampoo my hair. Because, y'all, look at that. That's, that's sickening. Like, that. But I want to use my time wisely and I want to study. Because, like, before class, I want to study for P. And then after class, I want to study for OB or my switching. Either way, I want to study for both classes today. One before class, well, one before lab and then one after lab. So that's why I don't want to use all my time by shampooing my hair and all that because I'm pretty sure we're not going to finish here until almost 8 o'clock. My lab is at 1, so that means I'll be studying for however long. But we'll see once I get back home because this is not okay. And I want to put my twist in so that I can just wear it out this weekend. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I have to study today for Pete's and OB. And then I have to go to lab from 1 to 4 today. Um, I'm excited for 
Cooper Lab because like they're gonna be showing us like fetal heart monitoring, um, how to read the EKG strips. Because like when I was taking, I think foundations and med search, like I understand how to read the EKG strips, but it's gonna be different for babies. So I'm excited to see how to do that. And then we're also gonna be on the mannequin. They're gonna be showing us how to do the whole labor thing whenever it comes to the different positions so like flex and extension um all other stuff yeah um they're gonna show us how to do that like how to pull the baby out you know all that what we're gonna do on a mannequin so that whenever we go to the hospital of course we won't be able to do it as students but we'll know like that won't be our first time seeing it you know what i'm saying so i'm excited for that as well um and yeah so that's really what I have on today's agenda. And then I don't want to be up too late studying because I do work tomorrow. Y'all, because I've been trying to stay up late. I don't know why, but I've been staying up late. And it's kind of getting to me right now because I've been doing two 12 hour shifts a week. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. But anyways, um, I also today I need to go ahead and send out the Airbnb information for my bachelorette trip. So exciting. I'm so excited for that. Um, the girls, they just waiting on me. I'm just trying to find the right one because people spending their money and we got to make sure that we in a nice place, in a very secure place because I don't got time for that. Um, it is a bachelorette slash bachelor trip. So the guys are coming. My fiance and his guys, they're coming with us, but just going to be in separate houses because y'all know we got to do our own thing. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just going to be in separate houses, but we're going to do a lot of things together. Well, it's going to be fun and it's a good time for everybody to mingle, you know, stuff like that. It's not just going to be my bride bridesmaids is going to also be like some of my close friends that's actually coming to the wedding that's not bridesmaids so that's gonna be fun too um but yeah so let me just go ahead and make it own over to the gym um i will most likely catch y'all afterwards i don't know she asked me if i'm going to record because like i said she records a lot of stuff and she have an actual camera so i don't know if i'm going to record i'll see today's upper body day but i'll definitely see um if i want to record because this is my first time working out with her so like we have to put our two workout ways together um but yeah so it's gonna be super fun i can't wait um and yeah so happy wednesday and i will catch y'all later on i just left I j i'm sorry y'all <laughs> i just left starbucks got me a croissant oh my camera is dirty oh and my hair oh my camera's dirty well, anyways, I got me a croissant and then I got me a ice white mocha. Mm. So, workout went well. Well, um, it was actually funny, y'all. <laughs> we had a good time. Had a good workout. She said I had her arm shaking. We had a good workout. Um, like I said, we did upper body today. So she said I had her arm shaking literally so it was fun um next time we're gonna work out together it's friday we're gonna do an upper body day not upper body day, we're gonna do a lower body day i told her i said you can have control with the lower body since i did upper body today um but yeah we worked our upper body like for sure for sure um we also like came up with the idea we might do like a mic'd up workout because she has the mics and stuff so that's gonna be fun um but yeah so i'm about to go ahead and head home take a shower possibly just go ahead and wash my hair shampoo my hair and put in some twists i think that's mm, i don't know because i don't want to go to work with twists in my hair tomorrow because i don't have like a scrub cap so i don't know if i want to do that i'll see um if anything i'll just i don't know probably just put it into like a low bun a slick back low bun and call it a day but yeah, so let me just go ahead and head home and I will talk to y'all later on once I probably on my way to school or when I'm studying or something like that. I'll just catch y'all later. We don't want quite this much variability, but this is much better than having absent variability. Y'all look at me. I'm not that hungry to be driving and eating. Like what? But I'm driving safely for the ones that's going to be like, stop driving and eating. I'm driving safely. I don't want to take bites when I come to a complete stop. But I'm on my way to school. Um, I'll be there on time. 
I didn't show y'all me studying and stuff because like I was just trying to study and not record um I studied for OB I went over my study guide for my test next week I went over fetal heart monitoring um like reading EKGs because that's what we're doing in lab today and then also why is so much traffic and then also I filled out some um drugs you know like um oxytocin magnesium all of that the stuff that you know it's going to be used whenever it comes to ob so yeah i'm prepared for lab today i finished washing my hair just put in a little bun um but yeah i'll let y'all know how lab go after i finish i'll try to get some recording if i can but i can tell you i could be a fantasy i could tell you got big big energy it ain't too many of them that can handle me but i might let you try it off the hennessy make them sing to this thing like a melody and if your girl ain't right i got the remedy it ain't too many of them that can handle me Bad chick, I could be All a fantasy you work every night Talking sweet and looking fine I get kind of hectic inside Baby, I'm so into you Now I give you only me All the things that flow through my mind But it's just a You gon' have to come and see this Pretty like Nunu, sweet like peaches I'ma be a fantasy, you ain't gon' believe this Hold up so it is later on in the evening it's like 9 9 30 when i say i am tired i am tired i have been studying <laughs> for peds y'all this class like it's a cool class but it's so tedious it's so specific like so what i've been doing at first i started off as I already know, I already studied for OB before my OB lab. So when I came home, I went ahead and started off with doing some dosage calc practice questions. Went through uh, Professor uh, Professor D's video, was doing that, and I was like, okay, I got that. So then I was like, let me go to something that's more challenging. So I went to the PowerPoints that my professor uploaded because I already did the two quizzes. And I know the answers already because I already did it. So I don't want to just like do it over again and I already know the answers is defeating the purpose. So I did the PowerPoints that, um, well, the practice questions that was within a PowerPoint on my professor's um, PowerPoint, or whatever. And that went okay. I had missed one, but it was because I didn't read the question correctly. It was it was asking how many, like if the uh, dose was safe within 24 hours. And it, it kind of threw me off, but I understood it after the fact. So yeah. Um, I went from doing dosage calc for peds to like going over my study guide and doing some practice questions. Um, it's just those developmental milestones, y'all. How in the world? From infant all the way up to 19 years old, or if you want to even say 12 years old, most likely 19 years old that's a lot and it's not like oh they just do this one thing no especially those like infant years not infant years those months like zero months all the way up until 12 months these babies do a lot and i'm like oh my goodness so i try to like go based off of the previous years to see okay well basically they did they couldn't do this within those uh those months so they can do it now so that's how i was putting it in my head then i had to pull out my whiteboard and i had to write it down had to just like teach it out loud to myself then i erased all of that then i started over and rewrote it and like i did better at that um and then after that i had to do the uh erkson's theory how have you pronounced this stuff um, like the trust, mistrust, doubt, shame, that like that. So, <laughs> uh, one of my classmates, she sent me a TikTok and like, I don't know if y'all ever heard it, but if you're in peace, hopefully this will help. Or if you're taking peace, take note of this, put it on a sticky note so y'all can, you know, remember. Uh, for the Erkson's theory, <laughs> they have a mnemonic. Like, I love mnemonics because it makes it so easy to study. This mnemonic... It's a little different, okay? It's a little different. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. It's a little different. But I learned that mnemonic in one hour. And, like, now I, it's stuck in my brain. So, it's the mnemonic is my sexy girl is... Hold on, let me see. I'm already messing up. 
what was it? Oh, my sexy, see, I'm tired. My sexy girl in red is selling drugs. YouTube don't unmonetize my video. I'm just going based off of what the what the mnemonic says. It's all over TikTok, it's all over um, Google, all of that. So yeah, so it's like the my is for mistrust versus trust, zero to one years old. Um, what was it, my girl? Uh, guilt versus... Uh, what was it? Guilt versus. I'm tired, y'all. I'm. <laughs> That's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use that excuse. Like once I write it out, then I know. Um, but yeah. So. That's what I've been doing. But anyways, I came on here to tell y'all that I got a package from Amazon. So I've been ordering some stuff for clinicals in work. Um. I have been just taking my mom's Michael Kors bag to work. Like, it's cool, but she need her bag back. Like, I'm not about to hog her bag. So, I bought a um, clinical bag because I've been needing a clinical bag, especially since I take more to clinicals than I do to work. So, I got my clinical bag, a new jacket because the little thin jacket I have is like an athletic jacket. It's not cutting it. That's a gym jacket. That's not cutting it. And it's been cold outside. Um, And it's cold in the hospital. So I got me a jacket. Um, what else I got? I think that's it. I got me one other thing, but I can't remember. So I'm about to go ahead and open up this package and let y'all see. Let me see if I can just go ahead and stitch y'all up. <sighs> Hold on. Don't mind me. I got my robe on. It's cold in here. Um... Oh, that's what else I got. So I, oh, my phone is falling. So I also got um, some under, some under, uh, what is those things called? Like whenever you put underneath your scrubs, when you cold. Yeah. So I got that. It, it looks like everything here. Oh no, not my jacket yet. Yeah, my jacket not here yet, but. I got these right here. It came in a two pack. Um, I can't remember the price of it, but I saw somebody wear it on TikTok, so it's supposed to be good. This is the brand of it, Adar. Adar. And I got me a size extra small because I already know shirts run very big. So it's just like a regular shirt, but it's best for underneath your scrubs. So I got me a white one because y'all already know my scrubs is red for school and it's navy blue for work. So I can either wear a white one for school because for school, we only can wear white or black or red and I'm not wearing red on red. But um, I got me a white one and then I also have me a black one. I'm going to go ahead and wash these. So yeah, um, so I got that. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description. And then I got me a bag. So I'm really not a pink type of girl. Like I used to love pink. My walls used to be pink, but as y'all can see, it's gray now. I'm very neutral now. Like the navy, navy, uh, I mean, olive green, that orange, like all those type of colors, nude. I love that. I'm not a pink type of girl, but the black, I felt like, was too plain in the pink i was like that's gonna pop like it'll be cute so i got this this brand is it's like i'm doing a um like i'm advertising them like a sponsorship but i'm not this brand is back smart i'm thinking that's oh, i don't have my gym bag in here i think that's the same uh brand i have for my gym bag if i'm not mistaken but they have a lot of stuff especially on amazon because i've been seeing a lot of people with it like a lot of people with a lot of stuff so yeah i feel like that's that's good that's good that's good that's good so i got a little strap right here maybe i should have gotten black because i feel like this would get dirty it has a lot of compartments though i like that so this is oh yeah this is a medium size because the large size i feel like was too will be too big 
and I didn't want too big of a bag. And like, if you have too big of a bag, and you, you can't even stuff it with enough stuff. That makes sense to me. So it has this compartment right here. This the main part. And then on this side, it has like all the little cubby things that you can put stuff in. It has a zipper. So yeah, I feel like this is good to put my stethoscope, my iPad. I really don't take my iPad to clinical anyway, but the, yeah, the clinical side I'm going to for these two, for this semester, I'm definitely not taking it. But my stethoscope case, because normally I have my stethoscope case here at home and I just take my stethoscope out and I don't like doing it. So I'm going to take the full case, my notebook, my clipboard, um, my drug book. I'm going to take, I'm going to for real take my drug book this semester for OB because I'm very, I'm very interested in OB and I want to make sure I know these drugs. Like for, of course, for my other classes, but like for OB, I'm loving it. And then like my lunch, possibly, possibly, um, I need to get a lunch bag. That's what I need to get. But I feel like a lot of stuff can fit in here and it's big enough. So yeah, so this is really all I got. It's pretty cool though. I like this. Don't play with me. Look. Hey. All right, y'all. That's enough. That's I'm that's enough. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Um, I need to be getting to bed because like I said, it's like 9 30. I have to work tomorrow. So um I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow morning whenever I wake up. I hope I have some coffee in there. I don't think I do. And so I'm going to just catch y'all tomorrow. I go to work all day, 7 to 7. Have to be there for 6.45. But I get there normally at 6.40, 6.38, 6.40. Um, and also tomorrow I'm supposed to figure out um, or find out if I am staying on day shift or if I'm switching over to night shift. Fingers crossed I get day shift because I love the speed of it and night shift. I never did it before, so I can't say nothing about it. Um, but yeah, so y'all haven't even cooked yet. Haven't ate nothing. So I'm about to go do all that right now. Uh pack my bags for tomorrow and I will catch y'all on Thursday. It is six AM. I'm about to head out the house right now. I'm about to go fix my lunch. Well, everything's already fixed. I'm about to just put everything in my bag. Um I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired because I was up last night, but it's cool. I don't think I went to bed until 11 o'clock. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and head out the house for work. Um, I already have my scrubs on. This jacket is real, that's what I'm saying, it's real thin. And I need my other jacket because it's cold outside, but it is what it is. And I didn't want to wear my under scrubs because I feel like I'll get super hot because I move a lot, like move a lot um, throughout the day. But um, I was going to pack my new bag, but... It's already 605 and I need to be out the house in five minutes. So I don't think I have a time for that. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to just gather everything. Everything's already packed, but I'm about to just get everything and just go ahead and head out the house. I hope I have enough coffee because I need it today. I really need it today and I don't have enough time to stop at Starbucks. So we're going to see. Um, I got this line across my forehead. But anyways, I'll catch y'all later on today whenever I finish work to let y'all know how my day went and let y'all know if they allow me to stay on days or if I'm going to nights. I'll let y'all know about that too. Um, if I'm able to record a few things um, today, I'll try to record it. But I don't want the vlogs to become repetitive when I'm working because I already like recorded in a previous vlog of me setting rooms up and you know stuff like that. So we might have a lot of discharges today because Monday we had about nine or 10 discharges and I was taking them down like back to back to back and the mamas, they be ready. So, um, might be doing that. That's why I'm losing weight. <laughs> so I might be doing that today as well. Um, I'm not working with the same lady that trained me all this time. I'm working with someone new. Um, I don't know how she is. So we'll, we'll see today. We'll fill out today. Um, but yeah, so I should be on my own today, but still have her you know checking over my stuff but anyways let me go ahead and
And if your girl ain't right, I got a remedy It ain't too many of them that can handle me Bad chick, I could be a fantasy laundry was done and clothes folded so i am back home from work work went well your girl's officially on day shift y'all i'm so excited everything is working out with this job i love it um i truly love my job y'all i really do the people there when i when i told them that i was gonna you know stay on day shift they was like they were just so excited so yeah i'm officially on day shift um right now i'm just working on some modules that i have to do for clinical that starts in two weeks so uh, once i finish this i'm gonna do some more studying before i go to bed um at first i was gonna wake up to go to the gym in the morning but i was like you know what let me not overstretch it and i'll just work out after uh class tomorrow but your girl is tired but i have to do what i gotta do to get this stuff done um yeah so i just want to let y'all know how my day went the only bummer thing is i have to work new year's day because we have to do um, at least one holiday since I'm a PRN, like I'm in the PRN position. So it's all cool though. I'm just excited that I work day shift now and not night shift. And then also I work on, like every Monday because that's like my good day of where I don't have class or, you know, none of that. So that's exciting. Um, I will probably talk more about how my day went today on tomorrow um, simply because I'm just tired right now and I don't feel like talking about it, but, um, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow I just have class. We'll have an exam tomorrow. My dosage calc and a regular exam tomorrow. I have an uh, appointment and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And then once I come home, I'm gonna like rest a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and start studying for my OB exam. That's Tuesday. So yeah we have a eventful weekend of course i have my clinical that start this weekend and then also studying so that's the life of a nursing student but i will catch y'all on tomorrow um i hope you have a wonderful night and i'll see y'all tomorrow hey y'all happy friday um i am on my way to the school right now it is 8 51 um, I am meeting a classmate at school so that we can study and review and like quiz each other before our exam. Um, yeah, I take my PEDS exam this morning at 10 a.m. And then literally right after we have to take our dosage calc exam. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Hold on. Um, y'all give me a second. Give me a second. Oh my god <clears throat> so excuse me we'll take our dosage calc exam right after um i'm kind of nervous um simply because i'm not like i'm i'm okay nervous for the exam because i know i got more ch uh, more chances and like some of the like majority of the stuff was clicking it's just those milestones that i kind of get tripped up on 
but I, I like I don't know if y'all well it's those milestones that I get tripped up on but I'm able to you know write it out and then understand the question so that's what I've been doing that's what I did this morning when I showed y'all my whiteboard I was just writing out the different um, developmental stone uh, de developmental milestones the theory and then as well as like the different type of plates that a child go through and like whenever they're hospitalized like what type of toys what type of uh, interaction they need to have whether it's with their parents or with their um, like different peers and you know stuff like that um, but yeah so I'm not too worried about that one. What I'm kind of, I'm not gonna say I'm worried, but kind of have like little butterflies in my stomach. But yeah, so that dosage calc is what I'm really kind of like, ooh, like I know how to do it, but I start to second guess myself. And so that's what I'm not gonna do today. I'm not gonna second guess myself. So, Michaela, you got it, girl. You got it, you got it, you got it. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way to the uh, campus right now. Uh, I made sure I had my ID and stuff because y'all, they don't be like letting us take exams if we ain't got our IDs. I don't. Mm -hmm. After there, I take my exam and stuff. I'm gonna. I have an appointment. Then after that, I'm going to the gym. So that's why I'm like dressed already in my workout clothes. I just put this jacket on top because it's cold outside. And then also, I have like just a sports bra and a jacket on with my tennis shoes and my Nike socks. So that's the fit for today. And that's the agenda for today. After the gym, I'm going to see how I feel depending on what time it is. I might take a nap or not. And then I'll just go ahead and start like studying, looking over my study guide for um, OB since that's my exam on Tuesday and I work Monday. So that's what we have planned for today. Um, yeah, I will catch y'all after my exam, after both exams. And I'll let y'all know how I did. I don't know if she's going to give us a, like a score right then and there. I don't know because I never had her before. Um, but yeah, so I will let y'all know how everything went. Um, yeah, so pray for your girl. First exam of the semester for like first, first exam of the uh, semester. I don't count the dosage exam, but pray for your girl that she passed. And not only pass, we passed with an amazing score. We got this. And anybody that's out there, you know, in school, not just nursing school, but in school in general, I'm praying for y'all that we have a wonderful spring semester and almost to the summer break so i will catch y'all later on after the y'all hey so i finished both of my exams sorry that this is not sitting up right finished both of my exams the first exam was just the didactic one i don't know how i'm feeling about that it was very specific y'all very very specific but i'm gonna just wait on my results to see um but yeah so then my second exam which is my dosage calc exam i didn't pass that so I'm gonna have to retake it. Kind of like the further you go in nursing school, it's like, okay, I have another try. But also you like, dang, again, like here we go. But I'm not beating myself up about it because I really like tried. I really, really tried. And if you know pediatric dosage is calculated way differently. I did all the practice questions that she posted. Did both of the practice exams so that I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong. So I'm gonna just ask to meet with her so that I can, you know, see for myself where I went wrong. So yeah, that's how my day is starting. Um, welcome to semester five. <laughs> it is what it is. I did give me some display. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head to my appointment right now, and then I'm going to go to the gym. I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to come off as if I'm like bummed out like I'm not I'm not bummed out I'm just like okay you have another try see what you need to do see what you need to tweak and let's move forward that's that's all I can say I'm not about to sit here and be like crying and all that like no nah, uh-huh the further you go in nursing school the tears don't it, it mm -mm. so I'm, oh my God. I'm gonna just brush it off practice some more and go from there um yeah so i will catch y'all after most likely the gym or something all right y'all made it to the gym time to put in my celsius okay okay i don't know what it do but it do something oh shoot okay I'm always doing something. Oh my goodness. But yeah, today I'm just gonna work out. 
my glutes, work out my glutes, do some um, cardio, and call it a day. And then when I get home, I'm probably gonna take a nap. <laughs> but I will catch y'all after my workout. See y'all later. Let me go ahead and get this workout in. It is clinical day, my first pediatric clinical rotation. It is right now 5.03. I am getting dressed right now so that I can be down there because it's an hour and nine minutes away from me. Um, so I leave my house. Y'all don't mind her. She have an attitude right now. But I'm about to leave my house once I finish getting dressed and everything. Um, just need to change out like my jewelry, take off my jewelry, put on my rubber ring and you know all that um we have to be there for 6 30 um it's just me and this other girl it's not like the whole entire um pete's class it's not like that type of um clinical rotation simply because the students that's going to this specific hospital was selected by faculty to go to this hospital so it's good it's a good thing but it's just like i got my, my saturday is gone like it is what it is though um yeah so i need to go ahead and pack my bag because i'm about to go ahead and take my new bag i do have a new jacket that i got um it's gray so i'm gonna just show y'all all that i'm gonna show y'all me packing my bag all that good stuff um i'm just trying to see how i'm gonna stay up because i ain't gonna lie i'm a little sleepy I, i'm a little sleepy as y'all saw i studied this morning y'all i'm so sorry i woke up this morning studied then i took a nap tried to stay asleep as long as I could I couldn't because it's daylight out time so daylight outside so I put like uh the sleeping mask on that really didn't help so my body was just like girl it's daytime what you doing like this is more than a nap you need to get up um I'm about to take her out as well um but then I went to, went um wedding band shopping for my fiance found one that he likes so I might go back and get it I want to go get it Tuesday before Valentine's is over because y'all know they have Valentine's sales. So I have two more places I need to go to tomorrow. Then I'll, you know, narrow, narrow out everything and go from there. Um, but yeah, so after that, y'all yeah, can take her out. After that, um, we went to go to eat and now we're back home. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, I'll probably go get some coffee or something, but I just don't want to crash, y'all. I'm, I'm low-key sleepy. Um... Some people have been asking me how I feel about this uh, clinical rotation. I'm not like over the top excited like, as I am for OB because I love OB peds. It's not like the specialty I want to go in. So it's kind of like I'm just ready for it to be done. But I will catch y'all later um, whenever I can. I'm going to show y'all me packing everything up, getting dressed and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and let her out so that she can stop all that. Oh, for your time. 
like the last girl. Y'all, I'm crying right now. I cannot get no coffee. Oh my goodness. I can't get no coffee or I'm going to be late. I'm trying to get there for 6.20. They want us there for 6.30. So I'm trying to be on the floor at like 6.25. And I can't get, I'm sorry for the light. Ooh. I can't get no coffee because I will be late. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to react to this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm low-key nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I'm low-key nervous because I don't know how my body is about to react. I, y'all, we can't, we can't sleep. Can't. <laughs> so, I'm gonna catch y'all later when I can. Give y'all an update of how I'm feeling and how everything is going so yeah hey y'all so i came in the break room um just to walk around a little bit we just finished passing meds um we only have three patients and the meds is not a lot it's like tylenol and like vancomycin antibiotics for infections antifungal and all like that so tylenol we just get for pain it's not really nothing too much i have to come get my jacket because i was cold it's hot inside of the room since it's like burn patients but other than that like it's cold on the outside like at the nursing station very quiet it's not that many patients so it's like only 8 48 and i'm like i'm bored and i like to be on stuff so hopefully we get a case where me and my classmate get a case where we can just you know go to the ICU or do something go to the OR and see a lot of stuff because if not this is going to be a long long night um my nurse gave me a report over all the patients she has and yeah so I'm about to just go back over to the nurse station back to the unit um and just watch her chart and like go over some stuff possibly study a little bit I have my iPad. I don't have paper, so I'll just see how I do that. Um, but yeah, so I just want to check in with y'all to let y'all know how the night is going. I will check in with y'all later on um, once we get something exciting. Um, she is going to let me do like prime, I uh, prime the IV bag and do all of that. I did that last semester, semester so I kind of remember how to do it. Um, but right now, the first mid pass, I was just watching her do a lot of stuff. Um, and then I was given like oral meds and that was it, but it's really no IVs and all of that. So we'll see how the day goes, well, how the night goes. Um, I'm like, I'm a little tired. It's, I'm looking at the coffee, there's no coffee in there. So I don't know, I'll see. Um, my classmate, she has a Celsius, I believe. She said Celsius or Aliani, Some, however you pronounce that, she has that, so. I'm gonna just go drink my water right now and just chill out until something exciting happens. Hopefully we get to see something, but I will catch y'all later on to give y'all another update. Hey guys, so my shift is over. It is now 7.25 a.m. Um, My shift went well. It was just very slow. Like I ain't gonna lie, it was very slow. I almost fell asleep like two times, but I had to get up and walk around, drink some water, go use the restroom, all of that. Like I was literally tired, so tired um but it was sad it was very sad cases of the different age groups that we took care of today and the burns that i saw like these babies and little kids and um adolescents and school age kids <clears throat> all these kids was very burnt and i didn't expect for me to see stuff like that today i don't know what type of burnt i thought i was gonna see but i got a little a little sick <laughs> i got a little sick i ain't gonna lie um, but I had to pull myself together because, like I said, I didn't expect to see that much today. Um, but overall, it was a cool shift. I had an amazing nurse. Like, she was real cool down to earth. Um, she was a travel nurse. So, it was nice talking to her, you know, getting information and stuff like that. But uh, overall, like I said, it was a good shift. It just went by very, uh, very slow. And um, the time, like, nice shift ain't for the week, y'all. It's not for the week. Um... So she was like allowing me to do like a lot of stuff. I, the most I did today, like something that I kept doing repetitively was um, priming for IV. Uh, I know the whole step of priming a bag, like priming a tube. Like I know how to do that for real, for real now. I did it in MedSearch Clinical, but you know how you have to refresh your mind sometimes. So I did it a lot today. She let me do it on my own today. Um, and I did like, you know, 
gave meds and you know all that stuff i did things like that um but yeah it was some sad cases i was like oh my god like i did get emotional because it was you know a little baby burnt and i was just like oh my god it was a lot um but i held it together okay so this is really the end of this vlog so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel if you have not um, i'm about to go and take a shower and most likely just go to sleep okay um yeah other than that this was a great experience to see because like you never really have a clinical like this where you see nothing but burns at a pediatric hospital so it was pretty cool um just waiting to see what the next two shifts will be like um i started my ob clinicals i think in two weeks i'm excited for that super excited for that but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i will see y'all my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you know the next time i post a video and i will catch y'all next time